Hey everybody and welcome to What's Beth Doing? Today I took a Dollar Tree Whirly Gig and turned it into a metal look-alike. So stay tuned and we'll get cracking. So help me out today as we do this fun Dollar Tree project and we'll get going on it. Hello and I'm back. So remember today we're going to be making this Whirly Gig. I see them all the time in stores, um, usually not this small, they're usually larger, maybe like this big round, and they're anywhere from $60 and up. Um, so I, when I saw these at Dollar Tree, I thought this would be a perfect thing to do. Um, so we are going to, so we are going to spray paint this to look like metal today. So the first thing I did is I lightly sanded my pieces. These do come apart. What you need to do is to take the center piece and just start slowly twisting it back and forth and as you twist it, it, it you'll be able to pull it right off and then it comes apart there's a little piece right here in the middle to hold them separate and it just goes right back together just keep in mind to look at the way these are put on there the right direction and you should be good so we took it all apart I've got it laid out here first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with this clear rust-oleum sticks to plastic just gonna give it a light coat to help the paint stick because the metal paint I'm using says it'll stick to anything but I want to make sure so I'm just going to give it a light coat and we're going to let that dry and then we're going to spray paint it with our rust-oleum metallic paint which is in like a oh, what color is this Ru uh, oil rubs bronze that's pretty much what everything in my house is is oil rub bronze it's a little windy here so it's perfect for really whirly gigs today let's hold down everything and as soon as that dries so it can take long out in this wind spray paint with the metal. Okay, it's dry. I've got my pieces dry. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Metallic. Like I said, it's an oil rub bronze. That's just the, my favorite color. And we're going to lightly coat this. I'm going to leave my stick black just for contrast. So we're not going to paint that. Turning it around until I get a. Alright, we're going to let that dry for a minute because we don't want it to drip and run. Don't know what happened to the video there for a second, but when you see the second half, we'll, you'll get the one minute that you missed. I had it all sprayed and clear, it was dry. I just lightly coated, did a first coat on this. Um, and we're letting it dry. Should dry pretty. See, it's already tacky. Should dry pretty quick. And when that gets dry, then we'll come back, spray it a little bit more, and finish up. Okay, we're back. Our pieces are dry, so we are going to turn them over. We don't. Yeah, I guess we'll turn that one over too. We're gonna turn them over. Give another light coat. Here again, 
Make sure you don't put it on too heavy. You don't want it to run and look ugly. You can always put more on. It's just really hard to take it off once you run it. like we've about over that side that looks good and we're gonna let that dry now okay so our pieces are all sprayed I'm gonna give them a light coat of clear just to help hold it on make it more durable being outside in the weather Our light coat of clear and we'll let that dry and we'll do the backs and then we're going to put it together okay welcome back all right so our pieces are sprayed clear they were cleared first sprayed and then we cleared them again everything's dry to touch and we're going to put it back together now I do recommend that I use paint that I just happen to have here if you can get something that'll stick to plastic that you know actually says it on the can um, Definitely, if you get that a metallic look, if that's what you're looking for, then definitely use that. I used what I had, which is also Rust-Oleum, said it sticks to everything. We'll see how that goes. Um, but all we have to do is stick it back together. Let me get this piece out of my pocket. I didn't want to lose it. It's so tiny. So we're going to stick, whoops, we're going to stick our first one on, and then our little spacer goes in between look at it go just that's how we need this out here today all right you gotta stop you gotta put you together all right got the spacer on we're gonna stick our other piece on we're gonna stick our center cap on and we'll push that on really good And there you have it. We went from plastic Dollar Tree Whirly Gig to a metal look-alike. I think it turned out great. It was exactly what I was looking for. Um, this to me is not very attractive in your garden, but I think this will be a neat addition to one of my pots or something around the house. Our sponsor today was Sutton Mill Creek Syrup Company. They offer a line of hickory syrups in a variety of flavors. Sweet and smoky because great on your breakfast foods, but also makes a beautiful meat or salmon glaze. So check out their website at www.suttonmillcreek.com. And don't forget to subscribe to What's Beth Doing?